guys, I'm gonna show you how to achieve three different looks using one little palette. I'm gonna be using the Dose of Colors Baked Browns palette, which is an all matte palette. And we have a very special surprise at the end, so don't forget to stay tuned and watch the entire video. Before now, I'm gonna get into the tutorial. Alrighty, I'm gonna be using the Dose of Colors Baked Browns palette um, to create three different looks. Uh, I'm gonna start with a more natural look, daytime look, and then add on for a more like, I wanna say business satire, and then go for an evening, more dark, sultry. Look. I'm gonna start with a daytime look. Um, I primed my eyes using Max Painterly Pro Longwear. Um, I'm gonna leave all the products I'm using in the description box below with links, so go down there and check them out. All right, I'm gonna start with the lightest color here, which is Tea Light. And I'm gonna just do my base. We don't wanna go aggressive for daytime. I'm gonna do my lids and move up a little to my crease and my brow bone as well. So basically my entire eye. And for my crease, I'm gonna use the second color in the um, palette called Deserted. It's a really pretty like sandy color and it's a really light color, which I love for daytime. So it kind of gives like the no makeup makeup look. What I love about this palette is that you could literally use every single color from the palette, which is not common in makeup palettes, I feel like, eyeshadow palettes. So the top part of my eye is done and underneath I'm gonna be using the cherry wood color, which is this one. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face so you guys can see what this first look looks like. All right, you guys, so this is my first look, and as you can tell, it's really natural. My lids and my crease are super, super natural. I use the top, two, the first two colors, which um, it's basically like no colors, but I, I went a little heavier on the bottom um, because I think that's like a cool look for daytime. Now I'm gonna add a little more color using these two colors uh, to my crease. I'm not gonna touch the bottom part, I'm just gonna add the crease. So it could be, if you don't like wearing light makeup, it'll be like a different look for you. So instead of a cat eye lately, what I've been doing is trying to make my eyes look bigger and rounder. So I've been actually starting the crease here versus here. Cause like when you start it here, it turns into more of a cat eye. So I've been kind of doing the base here putting the product there, and then once the product's on there, blending it. So it doesn't go out like that. Cause um, I realized my eyes are not so big and the cat eye makes my eyes look smaller versus looking bigger, which we all want. And the lids right here, I'm still leaving the light color that I used um, for my daytime natural look. And if you feel like it's too light, you could darken it using this color. Which I'm gonna do a little, the same concept. But with a darker color, I'm not gonna spread it all the way. I'm just gonna All right, you guys, this is my second look. 
it's still very natural. It's not overdone. It's but you could wear you could wear this I think in the daytime and in the evening time if you don't like to wear the crazy heavy eye look. For my third and final look, I'm going to be going a little more darker, a little more heavier on the lids. Cause right now I don't have any eyeliner on. I don't have um, my lids darkened in, but I'm gonna use their darkest color, which is rock bottom. And I'm gonna charcoal smoke out my eyes. I'm not gonna bring it all the way because I want this area to still be light. And I'm only doing my lids. I'm not applying any more product on my crease. What I am gonna do after this is blend the entire thing together without adding any product. So just your lids your half lid. All right, so no product, just blend. Marry all the products together, all the colors together. And then I'm gonna apply this one, but you guys see the big difference here? And when you're playing with a dark color, you guys, you don't wanna just spread it because it could get messy real quick. I recommend dabbing the product on. All right, you guys, this is my third and final look. As you can see, I went darker on the eyelids. I smoked it out, but I didn't do a cat look. I just um, kept my eyes looking really round and I left my tear duct area, I wanna say, um, lighter. Hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial on how to create three different looks using one eyeshadow palette. And you guys, don't forget to leave comments below because you get the chance to win the Dose of Colors, Marvelous Mobs, and seriously, they're beautiful colors. Look at that. Ah, so leave comments below for your chance to win this palette and I will see you guys next time. Bye.